What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is hump day and it is a great day. Have you checked the charts? Have you headed over to Live Coin Watch or to your FTX app and did a little refresh and look at the price of XRP? It is currently at 88 cents. It has been climbing all night. We have yet to see a retrace. 90 cents is in the way of us breaking a dollar and it's going to happen people it's going down the market is pushing up bitcoin's pushing up the total market caps approaching two trillion dollars today is a great day august has been nothing but a great month i am so excited without further ado let's just jump into this so much to go over i'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail of this video some exciting news and far as partnerships with ripple a brand new one just announced again yesterday it seems they are coming out of the woodworks left and right every single day we get a new partnership we heard from Brad Gollinghouse not too long ago that last ETH interview or meeting he did at the Aspen Town Hall security event that Ripple has had a record-breaking 2021. This is phenomenal. Forget the SEC lawsuit. Throw it out the window. Forget Jay Clayton. Forget Gary Gensler. Forget the shady crap that they are trying to pull. Ripple is growing older in the APAC region and on the other side of the world. So here we go. Make sure you give us a like on Twitter. I'm, you can't like me on Twitter. Well, I guess you could. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Patreon if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so very much. Also, check out the B Network. Link will be in the description of this video. It is free. No information, no credit card, nothing given. You just got to set an email address up and sign up. Use code RippleVanWinkle, all lowercase, to get in. It, it is invite only. It's just like the Pi Network. It is free crypto mining. When the network goes live, you will have B tokens. Why not? Here we go. Live Coin Watch. 1.923 trillion. We are approaching two trillion dollars. Bitcoin dominance has slipped. So we have seen the Bitcoin dominance anywhere between 43 to about 46 percent. It really doesn't know where it wants to go. Does Bitcoin want to take control of this market? And do that run up to 80 to 100,000 and suck some of these alts dry, some of the alts that we aren't going to use that are useless, that are just taking out liquidity? Or is Bitcoin going to play fair? It's going to have a nice even run up with the rest of the market. Time will tell on that. XRP, as, said, as stated before, is up 25% in the last seven days, sitting at 0.887. I do believe we hit, or I, I believe we hit 89 cents a little bit earlier. But hey, all eyes on XRP today, people. Love to see it. And then from Locke Davis, look at this. The fifth largest bank in the United States is planning to launch a crypto service for clients. Yes, that is right. We are talking about PNC. It says PNC Bank is planning a crypto offering with Coinbase. A source said. Coinbase said Tuesday is working with PNC Bank, the fifth largest bank in the U.S., on a previously undisclosed crypto project. In recent months, we have formed partnerships with industry leaders Elon Musk, PNC Bank, SpaceX, Telsa, Third Point LLC, and Wisdom Investments. Our source had pre previously told Coindesk that PNC Bank is expected to unveil a crypto john in the coming quarters so i would assume we would hear about this project by end of the year i would assume regulations are also on the cusp and we're going to get those very soon but this is exciting why well because we know pnc bank was the first u.s bank to go live on ripples network and that was two years ago back in 2019 love to see it and then talking about the ripple versus sec lawsuit a couple of things came out let's go over them real quick james came filing Breaking news, the defendants file a motion challenging the SEC's improper assertion of the deliberative process privilege. What is he talking about right here? Right here. The short answer is the judge ordered documents to be produced from the SEC subject to a privilege assertion and said documents withheld on the basic of privilege must be identified on a privilege log. So this is talking about Ripple asking for all the SEC documents, internal documents, the SEC has yet to give them up. The judge has ordered them to give them up. And they said, listen, if anything is that confidential, throw it on a privilege log. And we won't, we won't, we won't release it to the public. Well, the SEC has finally come back out fire. And they, you know what they're saying? You could probably guess it. The SEC is saying every single 
piece of information that they have in those documents is privileged. Well, Ripple is firing back and they are not taking it. Ripple is calling bullshit people. Ripple is saying that is impossible. Tell you right now, SEC wants to play dirty and play this game after being asked three different times to give up these documents. And now they're going after Ripple and what's Ripple's internal messaging system documents of what everyone has said over the past eight years. Oh, I see Ripple playing this game too. Well, guess what? They're all privileged. Nothing is going to be released either. It is becoming an absolute joke with the SEC. I really think they are looking for a tactic to buy time, especially when you're ordering terabytes of data to be handed over this late into the lawsuit so you can start all of a sudden looking through it. I don't think so. Absolute joke. And then some of the bigger news coming out yesterday from the case. The motion to file excess pages was granted. So if you those of you who remember, usually in these cases, the judge says, listen, I want you to file everything that you file. I want you to keep under eight pages. Okay. If you need to have some more room, you need some more length, ask me, explain to me why, and I'll, I'll, I'll look it over and let you know if I'll grant you. Well, Ripple asked for the grant. They asked for the extension and the judge looked over all the reasons as to why. And she granted it. Ripple will now be producing a 15-page briefing. 15 pages, almost double the original briefing. And she said, yes, go ahead. 15 pages addressing all of their claims in one letter. It's going to come out. It's going to be absolute fire. It's going to be a bombshell. There are going to be some jaw-dropping moments. I would expect that we see that coming out soon. And then Jeremy Hogan comes out and tweets, I am such a law geek. The thought of some of the best security lawyers in the country being given leave to file a 15-page brief. It's going to be an absolute monster. I seriously can't wait to see this thing. And then he also chimed in someone, Crypto Noob, said, When do you think the case is going to be done with Jeremy? He says, Still the most likely scenario in his opinion. Remember, he is never wrong. He is never wrong. So appreciate about the man. Is the end of the year or early 2022, we will get a settlement. The second most likely scenario is a hearing on summary judgment, which would be early 2022 as well. And the third scenario is shortly after a ruling on SEC's motion to strike fair defense, which is coming in the October, November time frame. Interesting times ahead, my people. Can't wait to see how this whole thing's unfold and then michael about five links sends this over to us i wonder which digital assets could be of use hmm uae's largest migrant population is eagerly awaiting the availability of wallets and digital currency transfer platforms to reduce the cost of remittances who do we know is working in the uae who do we know that is already tied up to RippleNet? yes that is the uae people listen it's going starting from the APAC region and it's working its way back here. And that's where you're going to get the UAE involved next. This is absolutely tremendous news because we know about all of the connections back with the United Arab Emirates. We know about the testing. We know about the workshop. We know about everything going on over there. And then I want to bring this up. This is just going over all the different APAC countries, which will tie into our next slide. Look at all the different countries in, over in the APAC region. China, India, Indonesia, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Russia, Japan, Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, Myanmar, South Korea, Malaysia, Nepal, North Korea, Australia, Taiwan, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Papua New Guinea, Lagos, Singapore, New Zealand, Mongolia, Timor, Leste, Fiji, Bhutan, Somali, Islands, Maldives, Brunel, Vancouver, New Caledonia, French Polynesia, Samo, Guam, Kabira, Micronesia, Tonga, Marshall Islands, Northern Marina Islands, American Samoa, Paco Cook Islands, Tolvia, Wall, Anafuta, Nara, Niu, Tukolo. Got it all out in two breaths. Proud of me. I destroyed some of those names, but you get the picture. So why is this big? Because the Ripple, and you can see everything highlighted here in yellow, because Ripple has been making massive, massive strides over in the EPAC area of the world. Not only has Ripple been getting all of these APAC countries up and involved in running onto RippleNet and starting to use it to send money without on-demand liquidity, but we are now starting to see them tie in the ODL, the XRP usage. We just had Go Live on July 27th. We finally had Japan. 
go live using on-demand liquidity over into the Philippines. Massive news. Now we're looking at a new Ripple's Insights that came out yesterday. It says we're excited to partner with GME Remittance to accelerate and scale payments from South Korea into Thailand. GME Remittance is one of the largest remittance companies over in South Korea. So they have partnered with Ripple to scale payments from South Korea to Thailand, building on top of RippleNet. RippleNet. Momentum in the APAC region, all those countries that we just rattled off, is growing 130% year over year. This is absolutely tremendous. Here's the Ripple Insights article. It says, this partner established through SBI Ripple Asia, a joint venture between Ripple and SBI Holdings, will accelerate and scale payments from South Korea into Thailand. With 184 Thai nationals residing in South Korea, the Thai population is the third largest in the country after Chinese and the Vietnam nationals. So, is this currently using on-demand liquidity? No. Will it be 188% people? The connection's already there. They're just going to be scaling up and then they're going to start sourcing liquidity. SBI Ripple Asia is involved. As you just saw, SBI Ripple Asia connected into the Philippines. Now SBI Ripple Asia is going to help connect South Korea and Thailand. Then you're going to see South Korea connected to Japan. Japan connected to Thailand. Thailand to Japan. And then you're going to bring Thailand to the Philippines. South Korea. You see how this quickly starts unraveling once you get the first two aboard? Because you go from two-way all the way to six-way once you get the third person involved. And then that doubles from there to just massive multipliers on top of all of this. And we just heard about Siam Commercial Bank being involved with Ripple and approving their money license over there. This is huge and this is just the start. Pay attention. What is going on on the other side of the world as this SEC lawsuit is just throwing shade over Ripple in the U.S.? Let them expand outside. Remember, Trangelo, they're out there as well. 40% Ripple customer base. People, things are moving. This is a massive partnership. For those of you who do not know, South Korea, during the 2017-2018 bull runs, were the ones who took XRP to the promised land. They were also the ones who kind of crashed the market because CoinMarketCap removed the South Korean price feed, which made it seem like the price of XRP dropped about 50 to 60 cents. Well, it's not going to happen this time. South Korea loves XRP, Thailand, all of APAC loves XRP, and they all are about to be up and live and running on on-demand liquidity. Mark my words. That's going to do it for me in the 754. I got to get in the shower. I still got to steam my clothes. I need to get to work in six minutes. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know the usual. Wish me luck. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.